The saga of Hunter Biden continues to unfold with the recent decision by a federal appeals court to deny his request to delay his upcoming gun trial. This latest setback for President Joe Biden's son comes as no surprise to those of us fed up with the constant legal dramas surrounding the Biden family. On May 21st, a three-judge panel from the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Third Circuit rejected Hunter Biden's plea to pause the trial while he appeals the charges. The panel, comprising judges appointed by Presidents Barack Obama, Joe Biden and George W. Bush, made it clear that the trial would proceed as scheduled. Hunter Biden faces three felony weapons charges. Special counsel David Weiss has accused him of lying about his drug use on a federal form when purchasing a revolver in Delaware back in October 2018. The indictment claims that Biden bought and possessed the gun while using illegal drugs, a serious offense that carries significant penalties. Despite attempts by his legal team to dismiss the case, the same panel of judges previously turned down another effort to throw out the federal gun charges. This pattern of legal maneuvering is nothing new, but it's clear the courts are not inclined to let Hunter Biden off the hook easily. In an initial deal with the government, Hunter Biden had agreed to plead guilty to failing to pay federal income taxes and enter a pre-trial diversion program for the gun charge. This program, often used for first-time offenders, would have allowed Biden to dodge prosecution if he met certain conditions, such as abstaining from alcohol and illegal drugs and submitting to random drug tests. However, this deal fell apart when U.S. District Judge Mary Ellen Norica refused to accept the arrangement, citing issues with linking tax crimes to the resolution of felony gun charges. After the plea deal collapsed, Hunter Biden pleaded not guilty to the three-count indictment and claimed he was being politically targeted. His lawyers recently filed another motion on May 20, seeking to delay the trial. They argued that the case raised important legal questions about Biden's drug use and its connection to the Second Amendment's protection of firearm ownership. Hunter Biden's legal team also argued that there was no urgency in proceeding with the trial and cited a scheduling conflict with another trial set to begin in California on June 20th. In this separate case, also overseen by special counsel David Weiss, Biden faces nine felony and misdemeanor charges for failing to pay $1.4 million in taxes over three years. Prosecutors allege that during his addiction to crack cocaine, Hunter Biden failed to file his tax returns on time and included false deductions when he did file. Despite these arguments, the appeals court was unmoved, and the federal gun trial is set to proceed on June 3 in Wilmington. This trial will take place amidst President Joe Biden's re-election campaign, adding yet another layer of political intrigue to the already high-stakes proceedings. As the trial date approaches, it's painfully obvious that Hunter Biden's legal mess is far from over. Isn't it about time we see some transparency and accountability, especially from those sitting in the highest seats of power? The Biden family's nonstop legal escapades only serve to underscore what we've been saying all along. Integrity and honesty are not optional for public office, they're mandatory. But hey, what can we expect from a family that seems to treat the law like a minor inconvenience? It's high time they faced the music and gave the American people the justice they deserve. In the coming weeks, all eyes will be on Wilmington as Hunter Biden's trial unfolds. Will justice be served, or will political connections once again muddy the waters? One thing is sure. Americans are watching closely and will not be easily swayed by excuses or legal gymnastics.